far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. The bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To bury incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive.
Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> <laughs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. Get off! Excellent, Raiden. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good.
good, Ryder. Now, keep heading for refinery. wireless transmission near your position. Uh, from the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. the meaning of life. Why are we here? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. 
What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate!
here. Looks to me like Russian spies. Hey, we are just... Well, we can't let him in our position. Waste him. We'll fill out the paperwork <laughs> later. <laughs> their hold up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. embedded in that hand. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. Come <laughs> on. 
dos a F. That woman. Just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Right. The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there.
Saev and his team must be in here. Find him. Active IR sensors in the area. Part of factory security, no doubt, but the enemy may be using it. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian. But white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. 
I lost my whole family. Everything. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq, in Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino, one after another. Not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Ah! 